Do you have a strong mindset, a positive attitude, a, an amazing work ethic, and your loyalty is just through the roof? Like you are just the absolutely ideal, perfect version of yourself, or at least what you expect yourself to be. And it doesn't necessarily mean you've reached your result or you're already at your height or at your peak. What it could mean is that you're currently practicing with discipline and with consistency all the actions that you know will manifest the result or you know will get you to where you want to go and you're expressing the loyalty the gratitude and you've got all these good things I mean you're going you're doing it by that book and you're you're seeing success you're getting the compliments you're getting the awards and uh, and 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 I got a message for you I don't want to pop your balloon or anything I don't want to be the one to be the, the to bear the bad news I, I definitely don't want to ruin your morning but I got some truth to share with you that I know you it's gonna suck it, it's gonna fucking suck to hear this truth but it's important that you hear this truth because if it hasn't happened to you yet you need to be prepared but if it has happened to you already, or maybe it's happened to you a few times already, then I need you to know that you're not alone. So this is going to be a win-win regardless of where you're at in your life. And I, I think probably a lot of you, it's probably either just happened once or not yet at all. And you might be like, yo, D, what the fuck is it, bro? So I can tell you if it's happened yet or if it's happened at all or whatever the fuck. <laughs> and I'm getting there, boo-boo. Where my message is today is if you're already putting in the work, you're already putting, going through the actions, you're already giving your absolute loyalty, where well, you could have been disloyal, there has been temptation to, to end the loyalty or end the commitment or end the consistency. And it's different for everyone, but there's always been that temptation. But you stuck, you know, you held your ground, you stuck with your guns and you you demonstrated that persistence and again that loyalty but I got some harsh truth to share with you is that no matter where you are in life what company what part of the world you're in someone is going to manipulate that loyalty someone is going to take advantage of that loyalty and someone is going to burn you. And so, why I bring this up, you can be like, yo D man, come on man, I come to you for that inspirational shit, don't be giving me this fucking negative shit, man. I'm trying to get my, <laughs> trying to get my hustle nutrition, you fucking it up, boo boo. And I know what you're saying, but it's important that not, not just understanding that this is possible but I need you to know what the signs are so that way when you get there and you experience it you can embrace yourself for the impact you can prepare yourself with how you should react because when you're doing those those good things and the positive things like expressing loyalty giving loyalty doing that work you know having that strong work ethic doing that sacrifice making shit happen you're going above and beyond. You sacrifice a lot so that you can personally say that you achieved or that you've given it your all. And, and even though you gained results and even though you, you helped those around you, there are still going, there's still going to be that expectation for, for more. Your manager is going to want more. Your VP might want more. Your executive team may want more and in sales the funny thing happens you know every single month at the beginning of every single month something amazing happens what happens is amnesia because the person taking your commitment for that month has amnesia of how important you were the month before or how much you did the month before but what's funny is the amnesia doesn't happen when you don't produce Everyone don't forget that shit, <laughs> right? Everyone don't forget when you fell a couple units short or you, you know, you blanked out the month before. No one forgets that shit. But if you were number one, two, or three in the company or in the division or on the floor, once the first of the month happens, no one gives a fuck about that. <laughs> now weird. 
And so the same thing happens when you when you develop your professional title, when you get up there and rank. It's happened to me so many times. Here's why it's happened to me. Is because I I'm naturally introverted, right? I'm naturally introverted in a way where I'm learning myself, I'm rediscovering myself and I'm learning from my flaws, I'm working on my flaws. And during my climb, you know, I was I was introverted but with a strong work ethic and good loyalty. That's just the way I was brought up. And so those that I'm that I'm hustling with, that's my fam right there, right? I got your back, you got my back. Like if I bought lunch and no one else eating, like you can have a bite of my lunch. I'm tearing half that bitch off and give it to you. Because I believe that when we when when you rise as a as a team, you're gonna rise higher than if you were just to rise by yourself. So I'm so when it when it comes to my immediate circle, I'm not introverted. I'm going to share anything that I can with you. But at the same time, when it comes to upper management, my goal is that I'm I'm more about action than I am about words. And so I will make the sacrifices. I will I will I will uh, work extra hard. I will be disciplined. I will be consistent. And I'll figure it out. I'm not going to be the one to complain, mouth off, or or bitch about some shit. Instead, I'll adapt, create a solution, and share the the process of creating that solution with everyone else. And but here's the thing, though. And you might be like, "Yeah, D, me too, man. I'm all about that, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah." Well, the thing is, though, is when you get in that in that mood and that mindset, people around you, especially those you report to, become comfortable. Not only do they become comfortable, but they come they become they they expect it. And what happens is because you don't voice your opinion or because you don't say anything or you don't bitch or moan, you're going to find that they're going to push it all the way to the edge. They're going to say, okay, well, he doesn't complain. Let me see if I can give him more to do. Let me see if I can push him farther away because he can easily hit this goal and he's making everyone else look shitty because they're having trouble hitting that goal or they're having trouble getting the same results. And I can't be giving this guy the kudos all the time. Everyone's going to think I'm playing favorites. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push this person farther away. I'm going to make it more of a challenge for him, but not everyone else. And when you get in that state of mind or when you get in that position and it will happen, especially if you've, if you've been demonstrating all the good qualities that I've been announcing thus far, you got the strong work ethic, your discipline, you don't complain, you just find solutions. You're the ideal teammate. You're the ideal team member. You're you're the ideal person in your team. You are the MVP, right? Because you just have all the characteristics. And so and so when you believe that you've earned the reward, there will become there will come a time where you believe you've earned that throne or you've earned that kind of attaboy, that kudos, that that leeway, that slack per se, or that hookup. There's going to be a time where, you've, where you believe you're entitled to it because you've earned it through the hard work that you've given, through the tenacity that you've shown, through all that you've demonstrated. You're going to get in that position where you're going to realize that they don't give a fuck. <laughs> that, that the person that you believe should have had your back or you believe should acknowledge you or reward you, there's going to be a time where they don't. And until you voice your opinion or until you speak up, there's going to become this resentment that grows within you that not only makes you react negatively towards that person, but react negatively towards your circle. And so therefore, your circle then feels it. Your team then feels it. And what happens is it it starts to show. And then you're going to be like, man, is this me? Am I, am I cursed? Am I going through bad luck, right? Is this supposed to be happening to me? Why the fuck is this happening to me? And the reason why I want to share this with you is because it happens to all of us, everyone who's, who's got a good heart, who's, who's putting it out there, who's going that extra mile. There will come a time. Don't think it's all roses. You're going to get on the streak where you just feel momentum and you're like, yeah, things are good. Things are really good. And then all of a sudden, er, <laughs> right, shit gets real. Some bullshit happens and, it, and that event could throw you off course. 
and and ultimately end your momentum because you don't know how to react. You you don't think that it's true. You're going to think that you're fucking up. And I want you to understand, take it in this video, that you're not fucking up. And I want you to, to learn from this video that when that time does come and when it happens, because again, it will. You need to be strong enough to identify or at least remember and understand that that shit is supposed to happen. Because only the great will be tested like that. Only the absolute strongest will be treated like that. And, the, and only the successful version of yourself that you have in your head, that you have in, in you know, that you vis envision yourself to be, is the only person that can break through it. So at the time when you feel like it's a curse or when you feel like the world is on your shoulders or you feel like you're unappreciated or you feel like you're, you know what I mean? Like you're just being ignored or being used or you feel like you're, you were just a tool. The last thing you want to do is feel, is look inside and feel resentful. What you want to do is take it as a compliment. Just rewire how you look at it. Rewire how you're thinking about it. Instead of thinking someone burned you, what I want you to think of is someone invited you. And you might be like, yo, D invited me what? Invited me to a fire? <laughs> no, what they invited you to is the new version of yourself. They invited you to learn how to be better than who you were. They invited you to learn how to overcome that challenge. They invited you into a thick new layer of skin because these things happen everything's a cycle this shit will happen again and when it happens again and again and again because that shit does happen people took advantage of me for the longest time because i had the strongest work ethic i was very good at what i did and and people almost treated me like the wind-up toy right like the, if you just wind it up and just let that bitch go it's gonna go and so, so they would wind me up, let me go, and then, and then worry about some other shit. And so I'd be over here wound up, creating a lot of results, creating a lot of fucking energy, getting everything circulating and, and moving, and then, and then the wind up would just end, right? But here's the thing is that when that shit, when the, when the use of that tool or that toy or that, that wind up is done... Sometimes the person that wound you up will discard you because they got other toys, right? Because you did what you're supposed to do. <laughs> There's no more use for you. And you're going to be that wound up toy that just ended its wind, that just unwound. And now is just kind of standing there waiting to be wound up again. Until you learn that it is, it is not who winds you up. <laughs> per se it's it's understanding how to wind yourself it's understanding how to move without waiting for someone to wind you up it's about breaking free from what you believe you need because the reason why you feel burnt or why you feel like you were taken advantage of is because you're looking and relying on that particular person or that particular company or that particular team or whatever it is or that particular family member or that particular spouse to give you that sign of approval or to give you that kudos. You're relying on them and that's why it hurts more. And so when you go through it enough times and realize that this shit happens anywhere and everywhere because everyone has their own motive and that's a separate topic. That's a separate you know, issue or subject is that everyone has their motive. We have our own motive. We do it to our clients, right? Like we're happy to talk to them, but once that transaction is done, well, they're the wind up toy that stopped, that stopped moving. Does that make sense? So to a degree, we also do it. But what we have to realize, though, is that unless you understand how to move without waiting to be wound up, you're always going to be relying on the person that winds you up. 
So wind yourself up today. Understand that Understand that there will come those times where you're faced with this type of challenge or you're faced with this evil truth. And this is just business. But, it, it, but your reaction is what's going to determine whether or not you're going to break past it or you're going to go backward. And I don't want you to go backward because I've went backward a few times and I've taken extreme actions in going backward. Extreme emotional reactions like, well, fuck this place, fuck you. And you say shit and do shit, you can't turn back. You can't. You burn bridges that you just can't mold back together again. And so the best thing to do is really take a step back, separate yourself from the equation, go get somewhere quiet, and remember this video. Remember that that challenge was put in front of you because you can take it. That challenge was put in front of you to test you of how bad you really want it. And if you really want it, then show that you could take it. And I hope that this video helps. I hope this video finds you in time before... Because the natural person is going to buckle. The natural person is going to go in a state of depression and maybe hide out for a couple of weeks or just change the dynamics and the energy of their environment. And it's important that you do not because if you notice anyone who's strong-willed or who's successful, they have this thing about them is that they cope in a different way. They cope with stress in a different way. So there are people who... who who should be stressed and should be just maxed out to you know to the max like 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 smoke a cigarettes nonstop and hair's all fucked up and people that should be stressed the fuck out but they don't look like and they got anything to do it's because they've learned how to cope and so that's one of my goals is I want to be able to learn how to cope and I'm slowly working on that but only through these challenges will you learn how to develop that coping method and so I hope that this video finds you in time and it helps you develop that coping method. So if you like this video, please like, comment, and share. And, uh, and definitely subscribe, hit the bell so that you can be notified of the upcoming content and topics that are going to be re released uh, this week and the next. And keep an eye out for a special announcement that I got in, coming in September. And uh, I'm going to announce and give clues a little bit more and more about it. Let's see if you can figure it out so that by the time it reaches September 1st, you might be able to be the one to DM me, right? And be like, yo, dude, I know what the announcement is. It's this. And maybe I might have a prize for you. Maybe I might have, you know, a free course for you. Um, but I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to share with you guys the announcement. So keep an ear open for that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Talk and get to it. Oh, nigga, yeah. Rip hard, really do a part, nigga, yeah. We can buy the boy all night.